Hello Siders and welcome to a new episode of Sam and Max I didn't play this game for a long time So uh... I, I was trying to finish all the episodes And now... I got the time So... Where are we going? Go to Quingle. Who is it now? Police. Open up. This is the police. The trained police? Yeah. No, the untrained police. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> that was good. So, oh, Quingle was Santa. No? Samet and Maximus. Okay. So. So. So, so, I'm confused. What should I do? Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. <laughs> nope, not there. What's this? No toy box in there. Just some creepy dead guy. So, going more hmm. else. Hello, boss. We was only... It ain't him. Just had too much from New York. Yeah? Uh, I'd like to inspect your trunks. I bet you would, creep. That didn't come out right. Yeah. Okay. Use door. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart, I... She's napping. Good. Do I need something from here? Nothing? <sighs> so you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. What can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Always have. Puts me out to like a light. Shows you how different people are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Poor old Chuckles. <laughs> I think his shackles are too tight. <laughs> Poor guy. So, do we have something else? Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh-huh. Toy box? Somebody went and stole our toy box. You mean the toy box you stole from the tomb of Sam and Mark? Where's the decency? Well, search me, boys. I'm clean. Got your own compartment now, eh? Going legit? I can afford to, thanks to our old friend, Sam and Mark. Gold-plated scarabs are fetching a nice price on the commodities market these days. Flight of the Valkyries. That's an unusual kind of lullaby. I'm an unusual kind of kid. Yeah. Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. No devil's toy box in there. Yep. Yeah. So, no, no. No. I will use... My... What's... What the hell? No, I will not use it. I will use... Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? She won't trunk. shut up, oh, Santa! Is, I know what to do. I'm great with kids. Rid of me this easily. I know my right. There are laws about locking children in... Keep your yeah. mouth shut. Keep your yeah. mouth shut. Keep your yeah. mouth yeah. shut. Yeah. Don't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> Open up, I say! We gotta hide! Uh... I'm coming in! Good for you. Hmm. Looks empty. Huh. 
Nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. Ha! We sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Partners? For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense! This is just the beginning. We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us. <laughs> one endless series of marvelous adventures later. Do two episodes. Oh. Oh, we are. Ta-da! No fanfare. You'll find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Speaking of which, it looks like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. Oh, <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable than us, you mean? Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. No doubt we'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we keep our wits about Found us... Found it! About time. Okay. So, everything is fine. No? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Let's... Can be more precise than okay. Stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, Samoth. Something within that toy box is calling out to me. Samoth! It's a ventriloquist dummy! Don't panic, little buddy. It could be a fake. Well, well, what have we here? Tomb Raiders? Oh my, we haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. Now just sit tight for a minute. We're afraid you caught us with our trousers down, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in, oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then, protection spell looks to be in order, hmm? <laughs> to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> now don't touch that toy box if you value your hide. Okay. You think it's safe to touch it now? Ah, fudge. I was hoping these two would put up some kind of challenge. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Oh. That security spell is what's keeping us from nabbing the devil's toy box. That's the idea, Sonny. Did I cast that protection spell or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, no harm in giving it another shot. Yes, yes, yes. Damn it. Leave? In our moment of triumph? <laughs> I think not. Anyone for calamari? There goes my aura again! I must have that dummy! Was that a- Yes, little buddy. It looks like you got your ass. And it's a big ask, too.
this big ugly guy seems to be very taken with the little gold guy, maybe to an unhealthy degree. Devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. Who? Who did this to you? The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kind the grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, I blundered into a tripwire and poof! Curse number three! Only here I am. How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? I am but a poor student of the antiquities. I came to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. What's your problem? Bad accent? No, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. You know how to break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. Hang tight. I'm good at that. So, I need to get there. How? Oh. oh. Dimension. Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! And you're not. So sorry. Got to run. <laughs> Wait. You said you'd help us land the devil's toy box. Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just. Okay. Infidels! Vipers! You have removed the sacred bust of Samun Mak. For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, for how long? For <laughs> eternity! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, for reals, there's got to be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Shh. Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb, much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride? Hmm. To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> Boy, that's a good one! <laughs> it never gets old, does it? 
we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. Okay, so we did everything we had. Oh, use door. What's with this? Oh, I get up there. Okay. Good for me. Can, can I use the camera? Um, the... What? The what? Come on, cutie! Come to Grandpa! <laughs> Why, you sly old rascal! Whoa, stay back, fellas. I was talking to her. Hello, boys. Bouncing boomerangs at a barbecue. She's back. Never underestimate an independent woman. <laughs> Ain't she a caution? Just like my granddaughter used to be not so long ago. Eh. Yes. Come on. Come to Grandpa. Grandpa's got toys. <laughs> I like toys. You keep your distance. No tomb readers allowed in the burial chamber. Graveyard of the Moles. Tourist <laughs> brochures, eh? Planning a little vacation? Yep. Benny and the kid think I could do a little airing out. Been in this tomb so long, I'm starting to grow mold. <laughs> Problem is, there's just so many darn places to visit. Tell you, where are you boys from? Uh... The U.S. of A. Eh, never heard of it. New country, is it? How about you let us come in, and we'll toss the baby over to you? No, sir. Baby's gotta come to Grandpa all on her own, sir. And then Grandpa will tell her little stories and pinch her little fat cheeks. <laughs> Lord help us. Nice blocks. Hieroglyphic blocks. Used them to teach my little Nefertiti how to spell way back in the day. Come on, princess. Gramps has some blocks for you to play with. Can I have them? You're a little old to be playing with blocks, ain't you? No. Picked a vacation spot yet? No, darn it. I just can't decide. Where'd you boys say you were from again? Beyond time and space. Eh? Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's nice. Say, Gramps, you know that spell of protection you put on the Devil's Toy Box? We just cracked it. Yep, we nabbed the treasure and we're on our way. Just stopped in to say goodbye. <laughs> nice try, you fellas. That security spell is pretty near foolproof, I reckon. I cast it many times, and it ain't failed me yet. Picked a vacation spot yet? No. We're citizens of the world. Oh, I wouldn't go there. Too big. Stay vague. Eh? <laughs> hey, Gramps, who's in the sarcophagus? Well, let's see if you can guess. You're in the tomb of Salmon Mac. Wait, wait, don't help us! <laughs> yeah. Look, Salmon! Hieroglyphic blocks! The time honored method of introducing children to the joy of cultic incantations. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. We were terribly distraught to lose you back there in the desert. Yes, I could see that at the time, from the way your shoulders were shaking with grief as you ran away. Or was it laughter? Anyway, fortunately for me, a caravan happened to be passing through the area. Bandits. They saw me there and picked me up. I don't speak much Arabic, but I did manage to gather something about my fetching an attractive price at the Slave Bazaar in Marrakesh. That would have been the end of the story, I suppose, if their chief hadn't carelessly left his scimitar within reach and if I weren't such an expert swordsman. Swordswoman. Yes, well, don't wander off again. Next time, something serious could happen. That nice and only vaguely creepy old man over there wants to play with you. Yes, I know. And you want me to toddle over on my adorable little footsie, so he'll bounce me on his knee and pinch my fat little cheeks and tell me suffocatingly dull stories about bunny rabbits. Also, you can sneak in behind his back and make off with his jewel-encrusted scarab collection or something. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. My, you are a clever little imp. Clever for you, I'm afraid. I've no intention of being a pawn in your game, whatever it is, and I think I have a pretty good idea. 
Besides, I detest being slobbered over by geriatrics. I find it highly demeaning. I'm a liberated baby, you know. To hell with that Gucci goo nonsense. This is the 20th century! Oh, boy. Come on, baby Amelia Earhart. Go see Grandpa. Not in a million years. What you doing in there, baby Amelia Earhart? Studying the graves of the ancient tomb guardians. I'm on the verge of a major discovery. If my hunch is correct, this place was once home to a race of mole men. Okay, so you're not... Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. I don't care. It's a cozy niche. It's a bust. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. No. Uh-uh. It's a cozy niche. No. Whee! Oh, seriously. What? Back again? Didn't you learn your lesson the first time? No. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You who read the... To cut the cucumber lengthwise? Yeah. Yeah, we got your precious bust of salmon, Mac. You gonna make something of it, punk? I didn't think so. Two doorways. Out! Two doorways! I just said that. The doorway of life and the doorway of death. Choose a right, and you will pass through to the chamber of delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose a wrong. A wrong? And a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. <laughs> Proceed. If you dare. Ah, aha. So I must use the bust. Whee! No. No. It's just not good. okay. <clears throat> Two doorway. Which no, no, no. is? Wait, isn't he gonna tell us? Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door! The other door is the one with the scimitar! You won't be so lucky next time. <laughs> I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then... Watch out! That's all. <laughs> You're not allowed to look! I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. Hold it right there, buckos! Can't you read hieroglyphics? It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leaf. The two of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. More key, lover boy. Lover boy? It's the dummy! His name is Charlie Hotep. Now, are you gonna keep away, or do I have to shit? Spot on you! What? Listen, kid. I know your feelings for Charlie Hotep are very... Well... Dysfunctional? But I'm going to have to insist you turn him over to my pal here. Charlie and me are soulmates! Right. As if. 
Charlie and I have a perfect understanding. Sorry. Just try and come between us, and I'll put a curse on you that'll curl your toes. Ooh, nice. Some people would say it isn't very becoming for a young lady to curse. Yeah, right. Cursing is only like a completely major part of mole culture. Okay. I suppose your dad does a curse too? Ha! You don't even want to know. He's got like the most devastating curse in the whole world. The sexo rejecto hex. Hmm. Can you tell us about it without getting us an M rating? How'd you like it if the very sound of your voice repulsed the opposite sex? <laughs> Can you imagine? No. What's your curse, little girl? The whole scene hex. But I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> we can't just leave. We went through so much to get here. The doorways of life and death, you mean? Right. Dad built that. It's like supposed to discourage shooters. As if I need him always watching over me. God, so embarrassing. Your father said something about finding his greatest treasure in here. Yeah, so you found her. But don't start getting any ideas. I've already found my dream boy. I'm Good truly happy for all of us. So what happens if we decide to just saunter right in? Do you want me to set my ass on you? No, no! Oh, please, God! Anything but that! You okay? Stay sullen, kid. Shut up! That's it! You violated my inner sanctum! Ew. <laughs> Go get him, Spot! Uh... Oh! I... Can I smack you? In the face? No point in that. Come on. Uh... Snacks for Charlie and me? Oh, Spot! You're such a good snake. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. What? Again? Can't you see Charlie and me want to be alone? Okay, good for you. Come on, Charlie. Make a break for it. Go get him, Spot! A can of nuts for our tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole world. Well, Charlie. You finally got me alone. No, now you no, can't to no. murmur those three little words. <laughs> no, no, no. We're out of here. Huh? You, you, see <laughs> how you like Nefertiti's curse. Wait a minute, how does it go? Oh yeah. Hey, what's that? What? What happened? Maximus! Oh yeah. Nice. Uh... No! No! For the love of God, no! Say something, little buddy. Moo. Whew. He's <laughs> all right. Yeah. Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you! You ruined my whole life! Uh, 
I don't feel bad. Um, yeah. Oh, now I'm okay. Can I? Can I put it over here? How lucky can you get? You Very. won't be so lucky next time. Just you wait. Okay. Thank you. This? Say, buddy. Yes. Will you please tell your daughter to stop making indecent proposals to us? My daughter? You? It's flattering, of course, but a clear violation of workplace guidelines on sexual harassment. Stop saying that! You're like the grossest guys I've had the unfortunate displeasure to meet ever. Indulging in a bit of wishful thinking, eh, fellas? Puppy love. Cute, isn't it? Yeah, but I wish she wouldn't get her lip liner all over my fur. Oh, oh. barf! She doesn't oh. sound infatuated to me. Hmm. Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. Let's use this. I, I didn't get here. What the hell? Not to nitpick, but is ventriloquism really a psychic power? Of course! I can predict exactly what my dummy's going to say before he says it! Okay. Yeah. Charlie, you and I are going to make beautiful... inside any longer. I love you, Samoth and Maximus. I want to be your mole. I want to have your puppies. There, I've said it. Never titty. I didn't. If I hadn't just heard it with my own ears, I'd have never believed it. But it wasn't. I've got no choice but to blast you fellows with the sexo rejexo hex. Brace yourselves. Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. Say, buddy. Yes? I'd love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. Uh... I don't Whee! know how I can use it. Hi there. Oh, 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 I can use it to get the, uh, that little girl. <laughs> no, use the fucking door. Oh, they are such morons sometimes. Thank God. You keep your distance. No tomb raiders allowed in the burial chamber. Wanna go on a ride? Oh, so now you want to be friends, do you? Well, buzz off, boys. I'm busy. Hey, Gramps, who's in the sarcophagus? Yes. Wait, wait, don't... Say, Gramps. What can I do for you, gents? I understand you mole people have a talent for throwing curses. Yep, here we go. Curses, curses, that's all anybody remembers about us mole people. We're good at dancing too, but nobody ever wants to hear about that. Oh, forgive the outburst, Sonny. What was it you wanted to know? I'll bet your darling granddaughter knows how to curse up a storm. <laughs> well, let's just say her Holstein hex might put you fellas in a bad mood. <laughs> Once she's got it down pat, that is. I hear around the neighborhood you're a pretty mean cursor yourself. Me? Sure, I've got a curse. The bad luck whammy. But I haven't used it in ages. <laughs> It's like whistling or taxidermy. You never really forget. Come on, hit us with your best shot. You? 
I wouldn't put a curse on a couple of nice fellas like you. I only curse people I hate. You wouldn't think getting cursed would be so difficult. I get cursed all the time. <laughs> Your son Benny just put this sexo rejectso hex on us. Oh, did he now? <laughs> You must have caught the eye of young Neferatiti, am I right? Well, I hope you're partial to long-distance love affairs, because that's all you're getting. For a while, anyway. But enough about curses. There's something else you want to know? Stay vague. Eh? into the burial chamber. What? No, they aren't. Don't! Ah, I eat little children for breakfast! What? I didn't say that. I have awakened from the sleep of a thousand years! Eh? Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Sam and Max are my best friend. What? No, they aren't. <laughs> Don't! Oh, come on. What they can do? Can I use the kettle nuts? Kettle nuts. Nope. Useless. Wanna go on a ride? I don't I don't I don't know what to say or Okay, that's it. Moving the movie. That's fun. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, fresh from the triumphant tour of Lower Middle Egypt, the scourge of the mole people, treasure finders extraordinaire. Please welcome Samoth and Maximus. Hi, folks. We didn't mean to interrupt the show. Here's that toy box you wanted. Um, we'll be on our way. Just as soon as you cop up our prize. Of course, of course. But before I hand out the big reward, perhaps I can coax our intrepid adventurers into telling us a bit about their grand adventure? Not much to it, really. We came, we saw, we conquered. Hand over the loot! <laughs> so modest. No, I'm afraid my audience wants all the gory details. Don't you, friends? <laughs> so tell me, Samoth and Maximus. To begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? We just taste that good. Strange, I have no memory of how we did that. They're dying up there. I don't think we're ready for this part yet. Let's go back to an earlier reel. Okay. We've got to beat the Spunk's challenge. Or what? Uh. Extra voice transatlantic railway now. Who can penetrate? Yes, yes. I don't know who can penetrate. I remember. Now I remember. If at first you don't succeed, eh, gentlemen? Be my guest. The gift may kick in on the next attempt. Good. Impressive. Now for the supreme test. Can you pass the inner gate? Samoth passed a quarter once. Hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah. So... Oof. 
<coughs> oh, boy. Oh. We still need to come up with a good toy idea for those elves, but we'll worry about that down. Want to skip ahead to the good part? Okay, guys. I got this is all the time I got for this game. So hope you all enjoyed it and liked it. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And I will see you in the Sphinx. Bye.